Darrell Powell, Castleford Tigers head coach. Darrell Clark, hooker, Castleford Tigers. He's got the potential to be the best hooker in the world, I think. It's been awesome for us since he came in. He's got the whole town buzzing. I think everybody recognises he's one of the best players in, in the competition, not just at, at, at the Tigers. I think he's improved again this year. Uh, his athletic ability is outstanding. Uh, his speed off the mark, incredible. And obviously his eye for an opening. It's been pretty good for me, you now individually. He's encouraged me a lot to you know, up him again up a little more. And through the gap goes Clark! Darrell Clark! He could go all the way! What a try! What a fabulous try from Darrell Clark! Last couple of years it's looked you know, pretty down and out for us. And for us to turn club around in such a short time like we have, you know, it's uh, pretty special. I thought we'd go well. I, I didn't I, you know, I'm not sure I thought we'd be in top four and um, semi-finals with a, a potential of playing in the final. Um, but as you, as you see, your players grow and develop and, uh, and, and the bond that they, they build with each other as a unit, it, it's been outstanding. For the fans, it's it's huge. I think you know, the Challenge Cup is a, a massive part of, of Castleford Tigers and its history, and we're always connecting the history with this current team. Um, all the way through the year, we've been doing that. 22 years since you know Cass have last had a trip to Wembley, so supporting Cass from a young age, probably up there with the most important game I've uh, probably played in my life. Previous form and league form goes out of the window, you know, and it's just who turns up on the day. For us, it's about putting a, a new layer of history down and and marking ourselves as a team that can be uh, can be revered along with, with the other outstanding teams that have done special things at Castleford. It's the huge roar from the Castleford contingent. 20,000 have travelled down from the town. Two out of every three, and I'm sure those people left back in Castleford, they'll be dancing in the streets. Hopefully, you know, this year will be my time, and hopefully um, we can do something special.